today, we're decorating for fall. Take the witch hats out, let's put them up. I'm really proud of past me thinking of future me. My Hocus Pocus book. Decorating with a moving child. No, no, no. Some other little spooky touches I have in his room. These are some of my favorite moments with you, buddy. I am so excited. If you've been following me for quite some time now, you know that this is my time to thrive. The next four months, the burr months, are my favorite months. My heart comes alive, my soul is just refreshed and ready to go. I absolutely love the holiday season and now that I have a little one of my own who is getting a little too close to his puppy. Hold on, oh that's so sweet, you sharing the ball? That's so nice, okay? But don't get in his face, please. Here. Oh gosh, you guys are so cute, let me show you. Are you guys the cutest little besties? And now that I have a kid of my own, I'm just so excited because I get to see, there he is. I get to see the holidays through his eyes, which has always just been a dream of mine. Can you show them your really cute Halloween onesie? Actually, it's all two pieces. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on, this is, this is my new norm, guys. Let me just finish my intro. Uh, what was I saying? Life of a mom, you constantly forget. You guys know I love to start off with fall and then I like to thin and then I love to add in the spookiness towards the end of September. What are you doing to my laptop? No, hold on. Finn, no, 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 that's dangerous. Danger zone. And I just want to get you guys in the spirit. So let's start decorating together. I store most of my holiday decor on the top shelf in this closet, and then some of them goes in Finn's room in his closet. Exhibit A, the skeleton hanging at the top here. Honestly, that might scare Finn in the future, so we're gonna have to situate that differently. I'm also really excited to decorate his nursery this year for the holidays. Last year, he was a newborn, and I just didn't really even wanna bother doing it because I didn't really know how is going to feel during those months. So this year I definitely want to sprinkle in some stuff in his room to make it feel super festive and cozy for him. You guys are getting a little sneak peek of one of my home projects. I'm starting to create a gallery wall. I took out all of the bigger pieces that I have stored in the closet and then I do have two bins underneath the bed that I need to get out and go through and see like what I want to use this year. Sometimes I don't use everything. Sometimes I like to switch it up a bit. I still can't get over the fact that I found this beautiful autumn wreath at Home Goods. It is perfect perfection and it just makes me so genuinely happy and that's what I love about being picky about what you pick with your home decor because you want to just absolutely love it every year you pull it out and then if it doesn't make you feel that way the year you take it out put it back give it one more year and then if it uh, continues not to then you gotta donate it I'm really proud of past me thinking of future me because I was looking for the garland that I usually string across the mantle and I'm like I cannot find this where would I put it and old me thought why not put everything in one area together so that it's much easier and here it is everything i need so i can just pop it on up there i'm so excited to spend the holidays with mama perfect you okay finny first place i want to decorate is the mantle the heart of the home where we had so many fires and just cozy nights together with finn as a newborn I know where to start all right first thing I'm trying to play around and do something a little bit different like last year, but I'm, I don't know, I'm not really feeling the way this is looking. It almost just feels too cluttered to me over here. This is pretty much what I did. Hmm, maybe I need to hang the garland to see if that makes it more cohesive. Decorating with a moving child. No, no, no. Like I said, decorating with a moving child is quite difficult. I've tried to put him in a playpen and that's how I got most of this stuff done right now, but he, he was over the playpen. So we might have to do this later this evening when Ryan gets home. You just have to go with the flow, which I usually am. But when it comes to like my creative outlet, I do that because I want it to look a certain way, feel a certain way and be a certain way. But sometimes it's okay just to let go. What are you doing? And that's what I'm doing. I'm letting go and enjoying the new norm. The garland needs some batteries. One garland strand was kind of going out. See if it's this one. Last time it was like super dim. Woo! 
it looks like this one is the one that's working. Perfect. And then I also picked up some other garland from Michaels that I may disperse throughout this. I'm not sure yet. Here's a fall mantle without that TV art. I love this. I know that. Just don't know about around it. I think it's the florals that are throwing me off. Also kind of just want to go in and start decorating for Halloween. I am going to disperse my dupe Pottery Barn pumpkin pillows. I'm going to put the big one over here. I think that will look cute in the cozy book corner of mine. I need to clean up his toys, but we'll do that later. Then these two, I think, let's put them on the big couch. Last year I put some in the den, but I have this terracotta pumpkin I want to put on the shelf. It might take away from that, and I don't want it to look too overly cluttered, which I'm already feeling. Finn is determined to get the decor up on this console table. I'm like, my goodness, pal, you just want to decorate with me. I appreciate the help. He is so determined to get up there. You're so cute. Oh, I love your pajamas. They look so cozy. I wish we could have matching ones. He's occupied himself with this straw. I'm trying to get as much done before Ryan gets home. So I think I'm going to put these pumpkins on the shelves in the den along with that terracotta pumpkin I was talking about. Not quite sure how festive I want to make the den, but I definitely want to have something in there because every room has to have fall decor, okay? We are going ahead and unlocking the Halloween decor. I just want to get it up. I'm feeling spooky season and so is Finn, right buddy? Take the witch hats out, let's put them up. All right guys, here's the new situation. That is my life. We are gonna have a different uploading schedule during Halloween season. It's going to have to adjust. And I appreciate the ones who understand. I know there's a lot of people who look forward to this time of year, as do I. But we've got a little one on our hands. We've got a Scorpio on our hands that just wants to do what he wants to do. Finn. Please stop going into the dog crate. It's my my mom era and I have <gasps> He's touching, he's banging, he's throwing, everything he can put his hands on. Back on us! <laughs> I want to be able to vlog and have these memories for us. But I think realistically, the like three videos a week that I had been doing and the like the dedicated video thing, it's just not going to probably work out this year. I'm not saying it's never going to come back, but just right now it's, you need help. Um, so I think the, the situation for uploading is going to be like weekly vlogs. I can just vlog throughout the weeks and then of course like if I can do a dedicated video, I will kiss. Oh, so sweet. He's been learning how to kiss lately. It's so sweet. What? You want to kiss the camera? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, my boy. Should we show them all the Halloween decor that we put up? I feel so cozy in here. I absolutely love it. I think I'm just going to do a Halloween home decor tour and show you guys that way. Busters! <laughs> gonna call Ghostbusters. Starting off in the living room, we have a plastic skull on the coffee table because you can't really have much on here. He tries to fling everything off, so I just kept it simple. Didn't really care if the skull flew off. And I put the two little plushies there and then one in the chair. What's wrong? You want Miss Rachel? Okay. I got Miss Rachel on the TV, the Halloween episode. It's so cute. He loves it. To the left of the TV on the mantle, I did put this little skeleton guy sitting there hanging out and then some bats hanging on the walls. I don't know why this is still here. I've asked Ryan to move it multiple times. Hopefully he'll do that. If not, I'm going to have to like figure out how to move it so that I can put the Christmas tree in there eventually. You know, I have faith he'll, he'll get there. Over here on the console table, I did end up styling it, which is so fun because last year I did not have this here. I did end up moving this here for my 13th my 13th birthday party, my 30th birthday party. I had a 13 going on 30 theme and I just really liked how it fit right there. Took this out, I didn't put this up last year and this was the very first home decor item I bought when I moved to my studio apartment. And then up here I have two Dollar Tree pumpkins. I thought those would be fun to style. Oh, oh, whoa, <sighs> give me a break, give me a break. I thought these velvet pumpkins would be fun to style on top of these candlesticks just to add some dimension. My Aunt Jennifer made this dupe terracotta pumpkin that lights up. I'll turn on all the lights so that you can see everything. Speaking of lights, these are the branches that I picked up from Michaels. And then over here in the corner, I put out my Hocus Pocus book. Okay, this was my first Halloween purchase, and then the other sign was my first fall decor purchase. Same year, uh, just at different times. Black themed 
candle is there. This is what it looks like from afar. Going through the hallway, I think it would be so fun, I don't know if I will find the time to do it, to hang those witch hats from the ceiling and then maybe some like spooky looking candles. That could be really fun. Obsessed with the arch in this hallway. I love it every single time. But let me show you inside of Finn's room the little touches that I made. You guys, look how cute his little onesie is. This was his newborn onesie. He wore it literally the day after he was born. I'm gonna be able to ever fit in this again. What I'm gonna do, whenever I like love a piece of clothing that reminds me of his childhood in some degree, I'm gonna save it. I'm either going to put it up as decor, um, and then I also wanna save a bunch for eventually a blanket. I had a family friend do that for her kids, and when they turned 18, she took all like the t-shirts and clothing items that were really memorable to her and to her children and made them into individual blankets. And I just thought that was like such a special thing to wrap yourself up in. Definitely, definitely gonna do that. And I don't know if this will be a part of the blanket because I just love hanging it up, but it could be. So we're gonna take the onesie and hang it up right here. I also wanna show you some other little spooky touches. So I have this little felt jack-o'-lantern that fell off of a garland. I didn't wanna get rid of it because I thought I could just place it somewhere and I'm glad I didn't. On this shelf, we have the little bear holding one of these little pumpkins that I have multiple of throughout this. Oh, love this little bear. It's so sweet. And then in the corner there, we have the cobweb that my aunt made. And I thought it was just very simple touches, but very cute. And then over here in the rocking chair, we have a little throw pillow. And then up on this shelf, I also went along with the Dollar Tree pumpkins and just placed them in different areas. Last year when I was pregnant, Ryan and I did a little date night to Barnes and Noble. We picked up a bunch of books for his bookshelf, but I also picked up Halloween books because I'm a seasonal mom and I need to switch things out when it comes to the season. And of course that means books as well. I absolutely love children's books. And now that I have my own little child, we like to read one every night before bed on top of like like buying our own books. He loves putting these in and then taking them out. That's why they're all on the ground. It was beautifully displayed before, but I don't really care. Anyway, so I also went to the library and I checked out a bunch of children's books because they had like a whole entire Halloween section. And I thought it would be fun to just kind of see like what they had and try new books I may never, never have heard of. And I really, really liked which book is it? This one. This one was so stinking cute. The Fright Night Flight. And I picked this one up this year. This was like one of my Halloween items that I picked up. I didn't really pick up that many when I was shopping. And it just has the cutest pages, doesn't it, Finn? We just love flipping through these. I just love the illustration in children's books. One day, hopefully, I'll write my own. I have plenty of ideas, just don't know how to execute. Hey, where's Finn? There he is. Where did he go? Are you all... You scared me! I didn't know you were behind there! Where's Finn Riley? There he is, stinker! You are a stinker! He just loves doing this. Oh! You went, <laughs> you went above your head! You are so silly. Where's Finn? Where did he go? Whoa, there's my boy. You feeling your teeth? My aunt gave me these two pumpkins that Finn just absolutely loves to say hello and goodnight to. It's so sweet. He'll go up, I'll hold them, and he'll like pat the faces and like rub it. It's so cute. Then these are the other shelves that he can't reach. Obviously the Halloween Town replica. I'm so glad I got it when I did because they don't even have it on Etsy anymore. Ember, he's trying to play with you. Gentle. Ember, you can take it. Take, take the toy. Good boy, good boy, so sweet baby. The sun is setting and once it does, I'll go outside and show you how spooky the porch looks. I absolutely love how it turned out and I definitely think my neighbors are gonna appreciate it. For dinner tonight, I'm making the crock pot my new bestie and I'm really gonna start utilizing this more often because it is very helpful, especially because things are tad hectic in the best way. Let's see, I'm making some bolognese. Ooh, it is sizzling, baby, sizzling. I love making mine chunky. Ryan and I just really love like bunches of carrots and stuff. My mom makes the best bolognese. I really can't recreate. I love the flavor it has in the pan. So I'm curious to see how the bolognese will taste in the crock pot. Also, crock pot liners are life-saving. I wish 
you could smell this right now. Oh my heavenly goodness. Now that I think about it, Crock-Pot liners may not be the best for your health. Isn't that plastic that's kind of like seeping into your food? Well, nothing you can do about it now, but maybe, maybe I'll ditch them and just clean the pot. I'm going to serve up my bolognese with this spa zucchetti pasta. The reason why I love this pasta so much is if you make it correctly and make it very nice and al dente, it falls, like all the bolognese falls in between the little like pumpkin holes. Oh, so delicious. I love like a regatone. Anything that has areas where pasta goodness can fall within is my kind of pasta shape. Is she not a superstar fall pasta? Only thing is, is that since she's made of butternut squash, you have to be careful when it comes to al dente part because it will fall apart quickly. I don't know why, but butternut squash, you know, tends to squash. If you want it to have an al dente taste, make sure you keep an eye on her. We have a pasta on fire. Another little spooky touch I have in the kitchen is I put out my cobweb tiered tray. So cute. I definitely have to serve something on that. I did at the chili cook-off. I had a guest bring some pumpkin muffins that were divine and she put them on there. And then over here, I wanted to mention I found a scrub mommy, cause you know the OG is the scrub daddy, but what I have not found are the Halloween versions. And you know I would love to switch it out if I could. I would. I just poured the sauce on top. I'm just gonna gently fold everything in. Oh no. Did I not make it al dente after I was preaching how you need to make it al dente? Dang it. It's this pot. This pot really is a steamy one. Oh well. I tried. Oh, and then over here in the corner, I displayed one of my favorite cookbooks. It's called Beautiful Boards, and I just flipped it over to the pumpkin board. How fun is that? And then I just put some gauze there. Then, you wanna try some of mommy sauce? Thinking about it? Contemplating it? Did you even get any in your mouth? You wanna feed yourself. Okay, I made him this butternut squash pasta that he likes, but he needs some more protein. Yes! Good job. You want more? All right, winner. How about you have a bite of the butternut squash and then I have a little bit more of that beef sauce for you. You want the beef sauce or you want to do a combo? I like what you're thinking here. Oh, that was a big old bite of beef. Are we gonna taste really good together? Autumnal bolognese, really scrumptious. You've had quite the appetite these days, honey. Is that a good bite? You want more? Hey, make sure you fully chew. These are some of my favorite moments with you, buddy. I love sitting here helping you eat, and then you watch me cook. It's so special. <laughs> Do it all by yourself. You don't have to have my help. Wanna put it in your cup holder? Is that where all your food goes into the cup holder first? Oh, I wash the spoon now. <laughs> I know. At least you don't have to do the dishes. You want to play with the whisk? <laughs> Kitchen toys. More fun than your toys, huh? What I used to do before Finn, I'd love to make a cozy warm meal. I love my favorite Halloween movie. And you know, eat and watch movies. It's like one of my favorite things in the world is eating and watching good TV. I don't care what you say. It's not your thing, it's not your thing, but it's my thing and I love it. Well, I don't really get to do that that often now, unless I wait like much, much later because Finn's like very dependent on me to get him to sleep. Here we are, getting in the kitchen, hanging out. Watching him is better than a Halloween movie. These are the days I prayed for and I'm in them. I do not take it for granted. Mm. Great dinner.